Daniel 2, 28c. Chalmak v'chezvei reishak al mishkavak dana hu. And that gets us to the saluk and sof pasuk at the end. So let's start off back at the beginning. We have the second person masculine singular suffix pronoun on, on the word for dream. So this is your dream. The next couple of words are a unit of thought. And this is a conjunction, of course, with a masculine plural ending for a construct noun. So, and the visions of your head. So we have the second person masculine singular ending again. So your dream and the visions of your head. Good. So here we have actually a uh, plural concept where it's the visions, whereas it was a uh, singular here with your dream. So continuing upon your bed. So we see the second person masculine singular ending again, the masculine singular demonstrative. So we might think of this literally as this. And lastly, the third person masculine singular independent pronoun literally translated he. So we're going to ask, what's the this? What's the he? Well, in context, we see that it's all of what came at the beginning, your dream and the visions of your head. It looks like that there's a number mismatch, even if there's not a gender mismatch, because it's not just the dream, singular, but we've already said this is plural, visions of your head. There are times when we have number agreement only with the first item in a list, so it could be that that's the situation, but we don't want to leave out consideration of the use of the independent pronoun as a copula, which means like the idea of it is, that sort of thing. So to put that all together, it's the dream and the visions of your head upon your bed are these, basically, where there's not really a mismatch of number, but we just need to bring it over into English in a way that makes sense. So these are the dream and the visions of your head upon your bed.